Life has no limitations when you're determined and love what you do. 14-year-old Jacob Smith is a shining example. MTN's Ashley Washburn has this week's Athlete of the Week. Athlete of the Week is sponsored by the Blue Collar Restaurant Group. If you ask any skier, getting the opportunity to ski the big couloir is no joke. It's one of the toughest ski runs in America, and even for the most experienced skier, it can be intimidating. But not for Jacob Smith. He took the big couloir head on at the age of 12 while also being the first skier to do so legally blind. Dad, dropping in three, two, one. What I remember was I was around eight years old. It was a couple months after my birthday. My mom kind of been like saying that I've been running into things. So they took me to the eye doctor. Octave nerve was bleeding. Um, then I got an ambulance to Bismarck, North Dakota, and then airlifted to Minneapolis. Emergency surgery. First surgery was like 15 hours, and after that, I woke up with no vision. Jacob had a meningioma the size of a softball, which is a tumor on the brain. It's something no parent ever wants to get that phone call that something's wrong, and then when you see a scan and see this big mass in their head, and all you can do is think the worst. August of 2014 was just the beginning of a four-year battle filled with surgeries and radiation, but skiing is what got Jacob through it all. We tried to make it normal actually right after first surgery. We came back to Big Sky, we had him on skis and Thanksgiving. We didn't want life to stop, just how you can adjust to keep life moving forward. It was an adjustment, of course, but Jacob taught himself how to rely on his memory and senses to navigate the slopes. It's pretty much all memory and feel, but if I'm skiing at like different mountains that maybe I'm only there a couple times a year for comps or I've never been there, it's more on feel for moguls or drops, cat tracks, stuff like that. Lift pulls are hard to see, so to listen to where a lift is and then kind of just trusting whoever I'm skiing with as a guide. With a sustained pitch of 50 degrees and more than a thousand foot vertical drop, skiing the big couloir is a skier's dream. Jacob turned that dream into history, spring of 2019. I went up there with him, I skied before him, got down midway and talked him what to expect and he dropped in and let her rip. Dropping in three, two, one. The three, two, one is probably the most nerve wracking three seconds. It's almost like dropping into a gate competing. But um, once I was in, it's pretty much a couple of turns and then I was just like, just go and full send. History just has been made forever. That is your title. Jacob will forever hold the title as the first legally blind skier to take on the big couloir, but he's hoping this accomplishment will only inspire others. I definitely want to show people that I mean, it doesn't matter if you're legally blind, completely blind, or paralyzed. I mean, it doesn't stop there. You can go on and do whatever you want. If you have a love for the sport, you can kind of figure out how to work your way around anything. Live life to the fullest. In Big Sky on Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports. That is a can-do attitude. One more look at weather next.